Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Crafty Apothecary. We're going to make a short video for you today, our how-to guide on candle making. So we're going to collect some of our materials. We're going to start with beeswax. And of course, we're going to be using the beeswax pastilles that we've used in previous videos. Of course, you know where you can pick those up at. We're going to need some glass containers. Uh, we happen to have some leftover little glass containers, so we're going to be using those. We're going to need some wicks. Uh, you can get your wick anywhere. These are actually ones we use with the little metal piece at the bottom and they kind of help. We're also going to need some scents. We have some uh, new scents. And we're going to be using hot fudge brownie. We're going to need some colorant. You don't necessarily have to use them. This is optional, but we like the bar colorant. And as always, make sure that you are being safe, especially when using our double boiler here today. What you want to do is put the water at the bottom of the boiler and make sure it doesn't touch the top. And you're going to want to at least put it on high to get it start boiling. We're going to use about a cup of the pastilles. Uh, you can use however much or however little you want, depending on the type of container that you have. Uh, for our little containers here, for each small container, it uh, uses about one cup of the beeswax pastilles. These are our glasses and we're going to get these ready. We're going to take off the tops here and we're going to put the wicks in. Right there in the bottom. Try to make sure that when you, you know, later on when you pour them in that they try to stay in the middle. This kind of helps, you know, get everything started. In the double boiler, you want to put in the pastilles. They're going to start melting them. Uh, as the water boils, it's going to melt the wax and it's going to melt it evenly. As you see here, it's starting to melt through. Uh, the steam you see, of course, is from the water at the bottom. As it gets uh, melted through, you, once it's all melted through, of course, you want to put in uh, the colorant. We only used uh, two of the pieces because the colorant is very deep. It's very rich. You can use one and still kind of get the same effect. It really depends on your personal taste. We kind of like our reds to be very red. Okay, of course, as the colorant is going through, you want to add in your scents. That's what we're doing now. And then you want to give it a good stir. You want to make sure everything is blended. You don't want to have, you know, a strange looking mixture of some red here, some red not there, and not have the scent blended all the way through. Now we're going to do the pour. It can be a little awkward when you're getting it off the double boiler. So if you want to wait for it a little bit to cool off, that's fine. Uh, don't wait too long because the wax does cool down very quickly. Uh, to use the tops, what we can do is you can actually wrap around uh, the wick on a stick and let it sit there. And that kind of helps keep it in the middle. Once it's all dry, of course, that's when you can cut the wick to as long or as short as you prefer. We like our wicks just to be just a little over the top. And there you go. There's the finished product right there. It's amazing. It smells amazing. And then you put the top on and you have a cute gift. These, of course, you can find uh, on our website. Now, thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell button and always visit our shop at www.thecraftyapothecary.com.